Hey y'all, today is Thursday and I am going to be doing a get ready with me for a film festival. I don't know if that's what this video is going to be called, but actually I am in a film class at my high school and we produced a short film. It's five minutes and it's called The Fence. It was me and a group of eight other people. Our video got nominated out of many, many schools in my county and we are nominated as well as two other teams for the novice category because I am a level one and out of all the high schools, all the videos, everything, we are one of three groups that are going to be able to place in this film festival. So today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me for it and I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing. Like I said, I don't know if that's what I'm gonna call this video just because a lot of people don't know what a film festival is But I'm gonna be doing hair and makeup outfit and I'm gonna be vlogging the whole experience with a bunch of my besties So if you're new to my vlog channel, please subscribe because we would really appreciate you It'd be pretty fun and fresh. Let's jump right into it because I have less than an hour to get ready I don't know if I said this or not, but it's a Thursday and I literally just got home from school It is four o'clock and I have to leave my house around 5 to get there because you have to get tickets at 5.30. So because of that, I'm going to start getting ready right now. I'm going to cleanse my face. This is just um, my cellar water, which removes makeup. But I don't wear makeup to school, so this just like gets all the greasy, dirty stuff out of my skin. And I'm not going to use toner just because I have fake tan on my face. And when I use toner or when I have fake tan on my face, it takes it all off. So I don't want that. But I'm just going to cleanse my face. I mean, it's not really cleanser. This is a makeup remover but I don't wear makeup to school. I'm sorry if my camera's wonky. She's been messy recently. I'm honestly really excited to be going to this because it's actually a huge thing in like my film class. Like this is a really big thing. Only two other films from my school out of all the schools made it to this and the rest are advanced films. And like I said, I'm level one so we can't place in advanced. It's a really cool experience and a really fun thing that I get to do with a bunch of my friends and my group and stuff. And so I'm very excited. A few of my friends that are in my group group are Mac and Amy and Avery. Uh, you've seen them in a bunch of my videos before. Amy's a junior. Uh, Mac is a blonde girl. She's one of my besties. And then we have Avery who is in like all my videos. Avery and Amy can't come tonight and I don't know if Mac's going. So it may just be me and all the guys in my group. <laughs> I'm just really excited for the experience being able to get dressed up. It's going to be very, very fun. Only my mom is going because my family is crazy busy. My brothers have two different sports and like after school activities and stuff. So only my mom can make it. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and just put this underneath my eye bags. I have not worn makeup, like a lot of makeup in a really long time. I've been on the no makeup thing right now and it's not because of any certain reason. It's just I don't feel the need to wear it. I've been like really confident and I just am lazy. That's concealer, by the way. The darker concealer that I'm using is this Maybelline Infallible one, which matches my skin when I have felt this fake tan on. Okay, I did not mean to put that much concealer on my face. Whoopsie daisies. We're gonna blend her down. I also got eyelash extensions, as you guys know, but um, my eyelash extensions, I haven't worn makeup with them either. I've literally not worn any makeup with them yet. And this is weird because I have to like work around them. I feel like that's really light underneath my eyeballs. I might have to put more of the Maybelline concealer underneath. Okay, I'm gonna do this with my fingers. I love finger makeup. I don't know, I feel like it blends and looks so much better than sponges and brushes and stuff. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Maybelline concealer and just put it like dots just to blend it in to match my skin tone better. I'm gonna be using this ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I love this powder, it's so good. My face never really matches my body and since I've been fake tanning, I do put fake tan on my face, but it's either way darker than my body or way lighter than my body. And right now it's way lighter than my body. So I think adding the bronzer everywhere will make it match a little bit more. Okay, we're bronzed for now and I'm gonna put some blush on. This is the Tarte Blush in the shade Feisty. I feel like I look really pale on camera. I would just like to say I have been an avid blush wearer user for years and the whole internet hated blush for like the longest time and now everyone loves it again and I'm kind of weirded out by it because I've been a blush stan since I ever started wearing makeup. Now being an e-girl is like all trendy and e-girls apparently um, wear so much blush and so everyone wants to wear blush now and I'm like, I'm an OG. The boys are texting about what bow ties they're gonna wear. They've been texting about what kind of bow ties they're gonna wear for like three days because they all wanna wear bow ties. I also have done my eyebrows in more than a month like way more than a month maybe like three months I think most of my demographic is girls and I don't think a lot of guys watch my videos 
but like if you're a guy and you're watching this please comment because i really want to know if you're seeing this please comment down below your age and your gender i don't know that'd be fun i can start a conversation because the comments on my main channel are disabled so i can only talk to y'all on this channel okay now time for some shadows like i said i have lash extensions so you can't really see anything but i'm just gonna put some bronzer on my um bottom lash line and it might crease a little bit I feel like whenever you're doing makeup, if it's like natural makeup, just add your bronzer to your crease and it just makes everything look like more cohesive because it matches the shade of like your perimeter of your face. And then another trick that I always do that I don't see a lot of people do, like if I'm doing this, I will take like a smaller brush and put this right against my bottom lash line and then put mascara on top and I feel like it also pops your eyes. I feel like it gives your eyes like dimension without like looking like you're wearing a lot of makeup. So I have worn bottom lash mascara with my eyelashes. It always smudges on my eye and I hate that. So I haven't been wearing it to school like ever. I only wore it like twice. But for this, I'm going to. I'm going to be using brown mascara so it looks natural. I feel like black mascara on my bottom lash line is just like too much because I'm a blonde. And I feel like it looks like I have spider legs. But do whatever you're comfortable with. I like doing brown. It defines them without making them look like spiders. Okay, this is my makeup so far. I'm gonna finish it and then get back to y'all guys because this is a 20 minute clip. Here's my final makeup, very bronzy and very natural, just like how I do it every single day if I'm wearing makeup and now it's time for hair. Fun fact, I know absolutely nothing about hair. I have had this braid in for like two days and this is what we have. Also, my hair is so greasy, but I don't know what to do with it. Should I just leave it like that? I've had that braid in for so long, so like it kind of just like crimped my hair naturally. I think I'm gonna put dry shampoo. I'm gonna put dry shampoo in my roots and then re-braid my hair again and then take it out like right before I get there. That way it will be crimped. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna leave my hair like this, but I'm gonna braid it again and then take it out later. That way it stays crimped right before we go to the festival. I wanna make sure that I still have waves when we get there and my hair doesn't look like a lion's nest. I look like a little schoolgirl, but my hair is rebraided. It's just a super tight braid. And now we're gonna go pick up my outfit. I have two choices to choose between. I decided between two choices. So I'm either gonna be to wearing this. I'm either gonna be wearing this romper jumpsuit, which is just yellow and white stripes. And it is so, so cute. Or I will be wearing this jumpsuit. It's not like tied in the back, so you can't really see, but I'm gonna try both of them on and then decide. Okay, so first I have this one, which is the blue one, which is very like business-like lady, you know? I look like a working mother but this is what it looks like um i'm stepping on my tippy toes it doesn't go all the way down to your feet it's like goes like right at them this is what it looks like it's super super cute i just feel like it's too mommy so i think i'm gonna go with the yellow one the yellow one is the one that i wanted to wear more but i wanted to try this one on just to make sure i didn't want to wear it here is the yellow one this one is so much more me yellow and white stripes i think it's just so so cute and very flattering this is what it looks like it's adorable it's so like bohemian and flowy i'll show you what it looks like from here don't look at my toes I'm curling but like it's super flowy and very cute i'm definitely wearing this one but i have to find shoes because i have like no shoes that are going to match these and i'm not wearing heels i'm wearing sneakers or flats so it is now 4 30 like i said i think we have to leave around five or something so i'm gonna see how far the place is away from where i live seven and a half miles away that's pretty good um now i'm gonna facetime cole and ask him what he thinks oh <laughs> dang i have to be a girl for the night here is the fit. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. oh, oh, yep. Okay, all that. Take this. Turkey, jerky. Here's my final look with my hair down and everything. We just took pictures, but we're gonna be late if we don't go right now. So time to skirt skirt. Thing is choking me. <laughs> Forty minutes in the car later, we made it. <laughs> The traffic was crazy bad um, because there's a lot of stuff going on in the town recently and it's just, it's rush hour. So we're here and it's time to go meet up with all my group. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm choking my <sighs> Golden hour. It's 5.40. Aurora Cineplex. I'm guessing that's mini golf. Yeah. <laughs> so random. <laughs> we're inside and we got cookies and Coke ices and this is what it looks like. There's my group over there. Van! 
So we're finally at the what's this? Film festival. What's up, vlog? It's your boy Hunter back at you with a brand new video. Today we're at the Aurora Cineplex, and we're gonna be like being super fun and fresh because we're at a film festival. We want to see if we win. It's gonna be pretty sick, nasty. Shred the nar, bro. That was what? Twenty years ago. And that place was worth a minute. Introduce yourself and give a fun fact. Yeah, so my name is Nick Baylor and fun fact, did you know that I got nominated Best Actor today? Fun fact, um, I have black socks on. Jake? Fun fact, um, <laughs> he's wearing a bow tie. Wearing a bow tie. My fun fact is that I have a segment, it's called Finish the Vine. Ask people to finish popular vines and when I say thank you, <laughs> a potato flew around. My room. Thank you! <laughs> thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Let's see, like, I can do it quiet. Like, thank you! Thank you! See, there's not the... <laughs> what is she doing? Guys, I think I could be the next Katie's Corner. Are you ready? Oh my god, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a James Charles makeup tutorial. And um, I think I have this super cool makeup account. You should follow it. It's Make It by Katie on Instagram. Okay, thanks for the plug. <laughs> but I don't even do makeup on my channel anymore. Oh, you heard it here first. Katie does not do makeup on her channel anymore. Okay. Follow her wait, Follow wait. her makeup account so on what Instagram. Do we, what do we do now? Uh, you have to do my intro. Here. Hey, guys. It's Katie. Oh, okay. And then it plays the intro? Yeah. Hey, guys. It's Katie. No, pop up. <laughs> what? What's up, high school? It's your boy Hunter Jake, and today we are gonna be doing Finish the Vine. Let's go see what the kids got to offer. That was good! I mean, we're getting it. I'm going to <laughs> you. you realize how tan you look right now, and also how dumb your mouth looks? I mean, I think I can be pretty tan. You think tan? And your mouth oh, looks. Is that what we're doing? My teeth blue? Wait, hold on, stay right there. I'm zooming in. <laughs> My tongue? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are your predictions for tonight? Who do you think is gonna win? I think for a novice, we're gonna come in second place. Second? I just think because there's one film who's nominated for so much stuff. So I think we're gonna come in second. Okay, so I I'm hate the negativity. Okay. <laughs> Nick's acting is terrible, and yet he got nominated you for best actor. So, so it is 6:22. Apparently, this thing starts at seven o'clock, and we're getting a refill. Okay. We're about to go into the theater now because we took pictures and we ate food, and I'm with Ben. Swag. Hunter, the red straw is mine. Oh, it's so fluffy. Disco lights, <laughs> disco lights. Oh. We have a red carpet. This is the most ghetto red carpet person. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I want to be interviewed. Are we all in, the, in the same group. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, cool. Wait, this is so fun. Oh, <gasps> okay, I found our group. We just got interviewed. By we got interviewed. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. uh, over there. here. Let's go. <gasps> we have pictures. <laughs> Look, it's the red carpet. We're going to our seats. Right over here. Excuse me. We have our seats now. <laughs> I want to be in the vlog. Nick, yeah. best actor. Best actor, man who steals my icy, yeah, and Hunter, him. Oh, hi. who's not even, <laughs> not even in the film. He's not even in the film. He's just like, you know, I'm gonna pop off tonight. <laughs> it hasn't started yet, but I just posted an Instagram picture, so go like it. Go like it up, go like it. Like Katie's Instagram post and I'll buy you a popsicle. It's starting. <laughs> It's just a film festival. Thank you all so much for joining us today <laughs> to celebrate the amazing student filmmakers. All students are given the same two-week production time on our, and are allowed to choose between four genres. Drama, comedy, action, or suspense. They are also given three items that must be included in each film. It's no easy task including all three of these things into a film that is five minutes or less. <laughs> Plus one production's on the way. Oh my gosh, it's ours, it's ours. You're so trash. I don't want to hear it, Nick. Why, why, You're why? such a bully. <gasps> Oh, 
Everything you did. Hilarious. They literally loved every single thing that you did. Yeah. Hi, mom. Oh, that was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Intermission's now over, and we get to watch the rest of the films okay. halfway through. The rest. Uh, important information. A teacher from another school loved our film. He said something to you. Yep. What did he say? Loved it. Loved the editing. He loved everything that we did. Did you like my acting? <laughs> this is crazy. Like it's it's an insane feeling to see your like face. Leonardo DiCaprio. Literally, is you are the next one. <laughs> We have filmmakers Danny Cummings and Jessica Young. Um, before we give out the award, I just want to give, well, I want everyone to give everyone that participated tonight a round of applause. There we go. Guys, we're voting fan favorite for our film. I've submitted like 17. Oh, Aaron Darby, Dave Zero, Nick Baylor. <laughs> Richard Ward goes to oh. Aaron Darby. For the novice film awards, we're gonna do third place. And the category goes to conscious from <laughs> Yeah. Films, right? mm -hmm. You have a really good chance. I'm getting second My or first. So <laughs> Alright, second place in the novice film category, category excuse me, goes to Pieces of Us. Rod oh 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 okay, we can either win or we can not place that. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. If we don't win, then we can place that. And now we will move on to first place in the novice film category, and it goes to. So it is now the next day and the last clip that you guys saw for this vlog was my group who not winning the category. <laughs> Basically at the start of the video I said that there was three videos in our novice category but there was five videos and only three won. They won first, second, and third. So we thought that we were definitely going to place and we didn't. We didn't place first, second, or third but we did get comments back on our rubric so we know what we need to work on. We also found out about some little scandals, some little cheating, some help from people that weren't supposed to give help went on so it kind of stinks that we didn't win but honestly just going and having the experience of being there and watching my film that we produced and that we worked so hard on being on a big movie screen was incredible i cannot replace the feeling with anything it was insane to see our faces on that big screen and see my terrible acting i know this is just the beginning of my film career and in this class and i'm so excited to keep it going with all of that being said although we did lose and we did not place this experience Experience was incredible and amazing and I think my group and my film teacher who pushed us to make this video and I'm not going to be inserting in the full short film just because it's personal and I don't want to expose any place of where I live I tried to not include anything that would give away my location in the video and so I'm not gonna be incorpor incorporating the actual short film but you did see bits and pieces so hopefully that gives you enough information but with all that being said I love you guys so so much and thank you for watching this video if you're new here please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the little bell icon to turn on your hashtag post notifications you can also follow my social media and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys peace in the middle east